Hey guys! Hi my friends, it's Helen from North Girl Gone South. I just wanted to um, jump on here and let you know that I know my, my channel is, has been, mostly DIYs and hauls, which I still will do, but I had to add in a couple of other videos. Um, to change my channel a little bit to adapt this is me adapting when life gives you lemon you make lemonade right this is me making lemonade so I hope you like the new videos that I've been putting up I just posted a video of last-minute shopping um, some things still available in local stores like Target Walmart five below Burlington and like I said don't sleep on TJ Maxx Marshalls or if you have a Harbor Freight near you great place to go um, none of it is sponsored just wanted to give you guys an idea of things still out there if you're still doing last-minute shopping today's video is some of the gifts that my all my children I have three children are all in their 20s and sometimes shopping for little kids is hard but shopping for adults is usually harder um, so mostly my children asked for clothes jackets sneakers um, but today's video is going to be a couple of things that I've gotten my kids my adult children <laughs> For Christmas and also uh, what's in their stockings just because I know there have to there has to be other people out there that have the same issues um, that I do when you have adult children who don't are not married do not have kids but are all out on their own or semi on their own and you're looking for ideas so today's video is just that and I hope you enjoy if you like this video give me a thumbs up uh, let me know that the lifestyle videos are something you want to see in addition to the hauls and the DIYs and soon we'll be having the mobile home process pick up again the situation that we're in kind of slowed things down a little bit unfortunately but um, we will be picking it up soon so we will have videos for that also so without further ado subscribe like and let's get to it bye guys so my kids are all in their 20s and I'm just gonna show you a couple of things that I got these I got for my oldest he's into Harry Potter and he saw these puzzles they're 3d harry potter puzzles um and so i picked them up for him uh my kids mostly asked for clothes and shoes so i'm gonna try to keep this to the non-clothes stuff and then go over the stocking stuffers uh boys are hard as it is but adult men are even harder so a lot of their stocking stuffers have more food and snack items than anything else but I did wrap these two together uh, just made it easier and normally if it was not something that I wasn't sure if he was going to use as a collectible thing or not. I would have taped them together, but I didn't want to put tape on the boxes. Uh, I need to invest in, they have that little thing that goes on the tube and kind of slides across to cut it. If anybody has one of those and you think it's a great investment or it's a good idea or you used it and it's fabulous, Leave me a, a message down in the comments just to let me know um, if it works for you and how well it works. Because I'm thinking about getting one, but I don't know. I haven't even looked for it. 
So I know there's probably a lot of people out there going to say I'm, I'm wasting so much paper because I folded it. It just, I hate to have, especially when I don't have a lot of little things to wrap. If I was wrapping the things that went in their stocking, I probably would cut it instead of folding it. It's just, I hate to have a ton of little pieces of wrapping paper. To carry over to the the next year it just it's not advantageous to do I, I just I've done it in the past and then I unwrap like I undo all my Christmas stuff to decorate get out my boxes and tape and then I have this box or bag of little pieces of paper that I can't use for anything and then I save them for the following year with the new little pieces of paper so it just the pile, the amount just gets bigger, and I may use one or two here and there, but not a lot. When they were younger, uh, like maybe teens, and I used to get them video games and movies and stuff like that, I used a lot of the scrap paper because they were perfect sizes. But now that the boxes are fewer and the boxes are bigger, I don't have need for a lot of little pieces of wrapping paper. So, um, I just choose to fold it over and call it a day. So, uh, this was for my oldest. I'm trying to think if there was, oh, he wanted sneakers. I did get him sneakers. Uh, the puzzles were from, I want to say it was Marshall's or TJ Maxx. I want to say TJ Maxx. Um, they did have a lot. Of Harry Potter stuff you'll see in his stocking that I got some more Harry Potter stuff I also got him um, a pair of sneakers those were from TJ Maxx also uh, I brought him with me uh, mainly because it's just easier my youngest couldn't be with me, so I did have to buy some stuff for him clothes-wise, uh, and hopefully they fit. You know, I know his size, but you, you guys know things run different. A larger, extra large in one store is not a larger, extra large in another store. So I bought it. We'll see. Hopefully I don't have to take things back because that's my biggest pet peeve when I shop is I hate to have to bring things back. I don't know how you guys are, but I know people who buy everything, figure out who's going to get what, and then after the holidays go and return everything else that they didn't use. I Listen, you do you, but <laughs> that would drive me crazy. I just, I don't know. I don't have the time and the energy to, to wait on lines after the holidays to return stuff but if it works for you more power to you i do know people who do it but i i don't know how so um yeah i'm not the quickest rapper in the world but i i think i'm okay at it pretty good at it and um let me know Who's the rapper in your family? I am definitely the rapper. When my daughter was younger, she used to love to help me rap. Um, now she doesn't live with me. I don't know if she's gung-ho about rapping. But in my house, I'm the only one that likes to rap. I'm sure if my sons could get me to wrap their gifts too, I'd have to wrap them everything but mine. That's the only thing they wouldn't make me wrap as my gift. But so I've, you know what? I want to know how you wrap. Do you do I fold down, then in, and then up? And I didn't always. I used to do. Push in the sides, push down, push up. I know you guys are thinking I'm totally crazy. But 
I started doing my wrapping this way, and I know this is probably so off the topic, but I was watching someone at, I want to say it was Sears or JCPenney, wrap. They had a wrapping station, which does not exist anymore, but I was a little younger, and I was watching them wrap because I was amazed on how quickly and how good of a job these professional wrappers were. And um, this is how they did it. They pushed down the top, they pushed in the sides, and then up the top, uh, the bottom up. And I was like, mm, you know what, I'm going to try that. And I did. That year, I went home and I wrapped and it was, I, it was so much easier. It was so much easier for the wrap that way. Also, too, I used to make it so long on the sides that you had to cut them to wrap the ends. And now I, I do a measure. I put the box on and make sure it's only halfway up. I know that doesn't make much sense, but my daughter wanted boots. I own these boots. They were from Target. I got them when they first came out. I believe they were like $30 or $35, but... Luckily enough, when I went to get her a pair, they were on sale. A lot cheaper than what I paid. So what I do when I wrap, I put the box on and see the ends. I pull it up the side of the box and it should be about halfway up, maybe a little bit more than halfway up and then cut it so that the other side is halfway to three quarters of the way up so that when you do wrap it, you don't have all this excess paper on the sides because that's another thing that I used to do. I used to just cut it and then have all this extra paper and it's a big bulk on one side or you got to whip out the scissors and kind of guesstimate on how much you have to cut on the end. And then here I go wasting paper again, folding it over. Sometimes too, if, if you're not a hundred percent on your wrapping skills if you tape that first piece it does make it a lot easier to get this piece down the only problem is if you're as crazy as I am about patterns see this paper has a pattern when you tape that first piece if it's not exactly lined up when you do the second piece the boxes are going to be crooked and sometimes that makes me a little crazy. I know. I know. But um, I find this to be the easiest way to wrap and the quickest. So all the clothing stuff that my kids ask for, jeans and, and yoga pants and stuff like that. I'm not going to show you guys wrap. It's basically a box is a box. Um... I'm just showing you the non-clothing, well, I mean, except for the boots and the sneakers, but the other items that maybe your adult children are interested, just to give you some ideas of different things. I do usually, like I did ask my daughter what her boyfriend was into um, besides her for Christmas to give me some ideas. So she did help me out. He um is into and yes, he is 20. Legos and Star Wars. So I did so I did some of I did some of my shopping online. I did. Uh I tried to do as much as I could online. But some things, it was a little difficult to do online. This gem curling iron, I got, I want to say TJ Maxx. Because I bought myself one. Now, she needed a new regular size, one inch I think it is. I wanted the bigger one. Well, let me tell you, I tried it, I used it. A couple of times not hers mine and I love it now I got this at TJ Maxx 
and I believe it was $16.99. I don't know, but it was definitely worth it. It's a rose gold gem curling iron. They had all different sizes in that make. And um, I used mine, like I said, a few times. And it worked great. So I definitely recommend it. It's hard for me to recommend things unless I try them. But I'm sure if mine worked, hers will be fine. So I got her the curling iron. And if you see in the background that I got a TJ Maxx in person, but the Lego Star Wars Stormtrooper thing there, that I ordered online. I got that at Target. Um, I didn't, honestly, I didn't think they would have it in store. That's why I ordered online. And I did, while I was waiting for it, I did go in store for the mini brands balls that they did not have and they had Darth Vader um the Stormtrooper and what's the other guy Boba Fett and they had them there so shame on me they had them but a lot of the stores were well stocked I did a video about what was left in the stores and I think be because the majority of people did their shopping online this year or as much as they could, that you have a good chance of finding things in store. So if you can't get something online and you could somehow shop safely, wear a mask, go on off hours, whatever the case may be, do not shop that close to Christmas. This was one of the main reasons I went out Today was supposed to be getting a big storm, but I wanted to try to get everything done so that I don't have to go out anymore after this weekend because it's going to be a horror show, I think. I don't know. In the past, it has been. And like I said, I'm just going to uh, show you the non-food items. I don't know if I have people who do Legos. My youngest son, oh my God, he was like the Lego king. I have to say, some of the sets that I bought him when he was younger... I don't know if I have the patience. I don't know if I'd be able to do a Lego. I mean, mm, I'm okay with puzzles as long as it's not 15,000 pieces. I remember um, when my kids were younger, we bought this puzzle that was, I don't know, was some ridiculous amount, 5,000 or something. And I was like, oh... You know, me and the kids are going to do this together as a family thing. And we spread out all the pieces, which, mind you, were very tiny. My kids kind of looked at me. We put it on the table. We started to do what we usually do. Find all the flat, straight pieces to do the outside of the puzzle. And I believe the puzzle was of a picture of a deer. So the whole puzzle was browns and greens and my kids were at it for about I want to say 20 minutes to a half hour which I'm surprised they lasted that long and we're like yeah this is not happening and honestly I don't think we ever finished that puzzle I tried and it just it was not happening it wasn't happening it just uh, I don't know it was it might have killed everyone in my family on doing puzzles <laughs> but um no I still like puzzles I just I know f I, I know for myself that 5,000 10,000 is just way past my attention span so I don't do it so this if I didn't say I probably did is for my daughter's boyfriend 
And um, this I got at Target. And I believe this was on sale for, I want to say, a little bit under 50 47 $48. Dollars. Um, and all three of them were the same price, which I didn't think was bad for Legos. Legos are expensive. I mean, you could get the cheaper ones, but they're like 50 pieces or 25 pieces. Once you get into the big Lego sets, they're expensive. I think there's one more thing that I did wrap on camera for my daughter. Yes, the Ninja Blender. Um, my daughter's birthday and Christmas are like two weeks away from each other. So they're both in December and it's hard to get her something or have me and her boyfriend had to coordinate on what he was going to get her because she wanted a few things. She wanted the coffee maker that I have, the uh, Curry Cafe, and she wanted a good blender, a blender so she can make smoothies and you know, they had a blender, but it was a less expensive blender, and she said it was terrible. So I did a little research, and this blender was rated in the top five, but it wasn't the cheapest, and it wasn't the most expensive. So there you go. So I got this at Target also, ordered this online, and right now you see me doing my best Frankenstein wrapping, which let me tell you, for somebody who is OCD, wrapping a present using the Frankenstein method with a pattern is insane. Let me tell you. Because this could have set me over the edge. I taped it. And then after I got this piece on, my mission was to line up the boxes. I know. That is 100% insane. Because it is my daughter's gift. And it is at my house. And since we're only going to have... Eight people at my house, if that, because it's just going to be me, Kenny, and my kids. I could have just bought a big bag and put it in and saved myself. But let me tell you, my kids like to open presents. I think one year I put everything in a bag. I didn't wrap anything in paper. And my children were very disappointed. They like to, as old as they are... They like to unwrap gifts. Let me know in the comments below how old your kids are and do they prefer. Because I think when my kids were little, little, I don't think they really cared if it was in a bag or if it was wrapped. I think it's now that they're older, they like the wrapping paper. They like to open the wrapping paper. I don't know. I don't know what kind of satisfaction they get from that, but... If that's what my children want, that's what they will get. So this is me here still trying to line up the flipping boxes. Could you imagine? I can't even. I can't even believe I left this in the video. Just to show you guys how like insane I am. Yep. Oh, and let me tell you, I got it. <laughs> it took me a while, but I did get it. So, um, yeah, she wanted a blender so that she can make smoothies and blend whatever. I don't know. She wants to make guacamole. So, I do my best job at my Frankenstein wrapping paper. And then on the ends, I have to do a little bit of Frankenstein. But, all in all, I'm shocked. Utterly shocked on how well... It came out. Frankenstein and all. Then next we're going to do um, stocking stuffers. 
Now, my kids, when they were younger, obviously, it was much easier to fill their stockings. And my daughter, I could do that in my sleep because girls are easy to fill their stockings. Little girls, teenage girls, even young adults, like right before they hit late teens, you know, 20, still easy. Now that all my kids are over 21, it's very difficult. Not so much. I, I mean, even my daughter to a point is a little bit more difficult because um, she doesn't live with me. So it's hard to know what she uses. When everybody lived in the house, it's easy to know what they use versus what they use now. Like I know her, her likes and dislikes of makeup when she lived with me, I knew what kind of makeup she used. I knew what kind of everything. So I could throw it in a stocking. Now I have no idea. The only thing I do know, which shoot, I have to go back out and get is, um, the electric toothbrushes. I always buy my kids the packs of the heads so that they can switch them out because you can't keep the same head in forever. You have to um, switch it out. So usually every year in their stocking, I get them a couple of heads so that if they don't have to worry about it, every few months they switch it out, put a new um, toothbrush head on it. And that was the only thing I forgot for their stocking. So I have to add that to their stocking um today so that's the only thing i still have to get i thought i was done but i'm not so um that's the only thing i know that they still use because they look for it that <laughs> that and a calendar i think there was one year i didn't get that i get my kids a calendar every single year and the heads to the toothbrushes those two things if they don't open them on christmas they ask, where are they? I think there was one year I didn't get them calendars because I thought they were getting too old for me to buy them funny. Because it was usually a calendar. I get them a calendar that expresses their personality or that I think is funny or that reminds me of them. So I thought, oh, they're getting older. They don't want the calendar anymore. They're not interested. Um, I think one year I found my oldest son his calendar still wrapped up under his bed. And I'm like, I'm not going to buy them calendars anymore. That year I didn't buy them calendars and they were all disappointed. So I buy them calendars every year. And yes, I did buy them calendars this year. I will try to vlog on Christmas Eve to get a little bit of footage so that I could post it. Now this is my oldest son's uh, stocking. Those are the Harry Potter cards that I got at TJ Maxx. And that's a glass, a, uh, protector for his phone. I got it TJ Maxx. Um, my son is a sloth, so that's his little sloth. I know it's crazy. Uh, he got Pez, Harry Potter Pez. I got him the Russell Stover candy bar. And the beef jerky, those both, I believe, came from Big Lots. That's the phone holder I got from the Dollar Tree. Every single one of the stockings has one of those phone holders. Because, hands down, worth the penny. The penny. The dollar that you pay at the dollar store. He loves Twizzlers. I got them a little bit of candy. Swedish Fish. And the Russell Stover's Marshmallow Santa. Now... I'm not a fan of the Palma or the Dalba, whatever candy chocolate they carry at the Dollar Tree. I do usually only buy my kids candy at the Dollar Tree if it's Dove, Russell Stover's, or um, not to be a candy snob or anything. I just don't like the taste of the chocolate. I'm not a huge fan of their the Palma or the Dalba chocolate. Just not interesting to me so now this is my daughter's there's her phone holder i can't say enough good things about it she's got her russell stover's candy bar with a little kitten because my daughter has a cat she got the unicorn yes i know my children are in their 20s but 
they get stuffed animals once in a while. She got the frozen Pez, the Dove candy, and the Russell's. Those Russell Stover um, marshmallows came from the Dollar Tree. Now, this is Real Techniques, the makeup sponges. We, My daughter and I both use them. I got that four-pack at Marshall's. I put two in my stocking and two in hers. Everyone got chapstick. She, I got her the shower fizzes from the Dollar Tree because nobody in my family seems to have time for a bath. So I love the shower fizzes. And then this blush brush is Real Techniques. I got that from Five Below. I think it was... 325 which I thought was a steal of course I got myself one for my stocking and then I got her this is the navy blue eye crayon from flower which is Drew Barrymore and then this is two lip um lip balms from Dunkin Donuts I don't go in Dunkin Donuts that office in on the inside I drive through usually but when I go in they have like little tchotchkes and and things on the counter and they had these lip balms so I bought two I bought one for her stocking one for my stocking because um I can I don't know <laughs> so so that's my daughter's stocking um yeah there's a lot of snacky and junk food and there's other things in there too my youngest probably has the most junk food and snack in it because he's the hardest to buy for. He likes dark chocolate over milk or anything else. So I try to accommodate the dark chocolate for him. I got him. He got the llama. I got him two of the Star Wars Pez because I didn't know which one to get him. Uh, the Stormtrooper or uh, Darth Vader. So I got them both. I got him the Godiva dark chocolate, which I got from the Dollar Tree. He got a phone holder too. The Russell Stover candy bar. I, I believe I got those at Big Lots. And pistachios. He loves pistachios. I believe that came from Big Lots. The Marshmallow Santas, which was from the Dollar Tree. And Twizzlers from the Dollar Tree. He loves his Twizzlers. And the dark chocolate covered nuts and chapstick. Peppermint chapstick. Everybody got them some peppermint chapstick and M&M's. So he got a lot of... I may have to call a dentist after Christmas. I didn't do my daughter's boyfriend's uh, stocking. Because his was the smallest of them all. Because last year he didn't spend Christmas. And we do these Christmas morning. Um, but he will be spending Christmas with us. So. And these stockings are huge. These are like double, triple the size of a regular stocking. I didn't always use these big stockings. I got these at Costco like eight years ago. I used to use a regular size stocking. And put a basket underneath the stocking for overflow. Now I found these at Costco and there's no need for the overflow. I have a hard time filling these stockings because they're so big. Those were snacks I got. My son and my daughter both have cats. So I got them a little something. Hey guys, it's a few more things that I did run out. We're supposed to be getting a snowstorm. So I wanted to run out and finish up on the uh, stocking stuffers. I needed a couple more things. I found these clay masks actually at the Dollar Tree. Um, there's two in here. There's a pink rose and a green clay mask. I bought uh, one to throw in my daughter's stocking and one for mine. Yes, I do fill my own stocking. Uh, I know I'm going to like everything in my stocking. Then I picked up some gift cards. I do throw small gift cards in with um, my kids use DoorDash and Ubi Eats. Um, so I got each one of them a gift card for their stocking. And then I saw this to pick up as like a combined gift for my daughter and her boyfriend. It says Boozy Bears, um, 
but you don't have to, I read the instructions, you don't have to add alcohol, but it's like a silicone mat of little bears. And then I guess it's just flavored gelatin, which you can use any one, not just the ones that they added here. So I thought they would get a kick out of it because um, you can make any flavor. Once you use those three flavors, you could use any flavor to make the little gummy bears. So I thought that was cute. Um, other than that, I threw a little bit more candy in each one of the stockings. And I think that's it. I think that's going to have all the stockings where they're supposed to be. I did find masks at the Dollar Tree um, that I just grabbed to throw in stockings. I'll put a picture on after this. And then um, thank you guys for sticking with me and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe and like this video. Give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.